All right, welcome to uh, 3114, and hopefully you have uh, already installed uh, Jupiter uh, from the Anaconda distribution. So I just want to walk through a quick tutorial for how to uh, open that and uh, kind of get started. So what's the first thing you got to do is just go to your programs, find your Anaconda install, and then from there you're going to select the Jupyter Notebook. Hey, the Jupyter, Jupyter Notebook will start this, this kernel. Uh, don't close this or, if, or your uh, notebooks aren't going to work. We can just go ahead and minimize it if we want. And it brings up basically your web browser and that allows you to navigate through your files on your machine. And you can't open these files directly in your file browser. You have to use this web-based um, Jupyter version, otherwise it doesn't know to link it to, uh, to Python. So all my files are in Google Drive. Uh, we'll come down here to teaching and I'll navigate to one of our uh, problems. All right, so I've got uh, quite a, f a few of them here. Um, this is the data set that you'll need to do for your uh, first homework problem. We'll talk about that later. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and just pull up this lesson. All right, so we're in, uh, in Jupiter, and you can see that, if hopefully you remember, that we've got Jupiter composed of cells. Uh, and I'm just going to go through this really quickly because there are a few students who did not have uh, Jupiter last semester but actually took it a previous year and had Mathematica, so they have a bit of ways to catch up. But in this first lesson, um, if you're having any trouble or you don't have Python installed yet, then go ahead and watch this Getting Started with Python. It'll walk you through how to install it on your machine, download it, and it will also uh, show you how to use the Jupyter Notebook and how to start running some simple commands. So, And this is all through LinkedIn Learning. Uh, if you search Python in LinkedIn Learning, you'll find um, tons of videos to teach you pretty much anything you need to know, at least to get started with, uh, with Python. So, all right, so that's our um, uh, getting set up. Uh, hopefully that'll get you the Anaconda build. If you haven't already done it, go do that and then come back. All right, so um, if you had Anaconda already from last semester, then all you're gonna wanna do is just update it. And so to update Anaconda, you're going to go down back to your programs, uh, back to the Anaconda, and you're going to pull up this PowerShell prompt. Okay, so that's what we've got going on here. We're going to pull up the PowerShell. I'm going to go ahead and exit it because I'm not going to need it. And in the PowerShell, you're just going to type Conda update anaconda and then just hit return or enter and you should see your anaconda updating um, you don't have to do this it'll work perfectly fine but if you want to update it then that's the way to do it all right so after you've done that we just come back to where we are now you open your jupyter notebook that's what we've done and we used our browser to open up this first lesson All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and just make a new notebook, and we're going to come back to this lesson uh, in the next uh, video. So what you can do if you want to make a new notebook, you've got to, again, do it within this, this browser window. You can click on uh, File, New Notebook, Python 3, and it will create your new file. Right, so from here you can do things like just use it as a giant calculator if you want, 3 times 5, and run it and you get 15. Now I did hit uh, shift enter, oops, I did hit shift enter to uh, run the cell if you've forgotten about that. Okay. Alright. Um, see the name of this notebook right now it's just called untitled 
So if you want to change the name, they always come up that way to start, and then you can just go and say rename, type in whatever you like. Okay, so in this Jupyter Notebook, um, edits and things like that are automatically saved, which is, is a real nice thing. You don't have those issues with your um, package crashing on you and you forgot to hit the save button. Uh, but you can push the save button, and what that actually does is create a checkpoint so that if you are editing your document and it's continuing to save as you do do that edits and you realize that you've um, you made a lot of mistakes or you've deleted stuff you shouldn't have and things aren't working at all as long as you haven't hit that save button you can always go back here and say revert to checkpoint and this will take you back to the last time you did push that save button okay. but otherwise if I close out of here and then reopen it it will have everything that I've been doing already in here so I got to use that revert button so think of this one then as your as your major um, saving button that you only use when everything is working or at least the piece you're working on is working well uh, if you want to um, shut down your notebooks then you can just go ahead and and close them up All right, you can close this up as well but what you're going to find is that this kernel is still running. So the way that you close this window so that you can open up Anaconda or Python fresh next time, Jupyter, is just um, you know make sure that you've got this active and just hit Control C two times. And it will shut the kernel down and now your Jupyter is completely closed down uh, on your machine. Okay, so that was Control C twice. Okay, with that we will um, take a break and come back and run through some simple commands.